Okay, now, what we've got then is uh, Joshua 24.24, which is Jesus 24.24 is Jesus. Joshua, Hebrew for Jesus. Then you've got 24.24, which is Greek for Jesus. All right. And the people said unto Joshua, Jesus, the Lord our God will we serve, and his voice will we obey. It's like they're saying about Brum Wood, if he ain't saying that. Mm. Right. So we've given... Uh, No, I told you so. The ultimate weapon. Just as the Bible promises that the Iranians will do. So it started with the date between January the 25th, 1944, <coughs> And um, November the 14th, 2012, solar eclipses, <clears throat> verse 1, 8888.8 8, 8, 8, 8 miles to my birthplace, where I was incarcerated until I was 942 days old. <clears throat> And I was telling my brother when I was 942 days old about the uh, Great Pyramid. And he's 8.88 years old or not. Right, so we then have the distance from the second eclipse, which is going to occur on the 25 degree latitude, which is 942 miles to my birthplace. When the sunrise to moonrise was 888 minutes. The same as the Star of Bethlehem, June the 17th, 2 BC. Sunrise to sunset, 855 minutes. And uh, moonrise, 33 minutes later. It only happens twice. Now, when I was 888 days old, It was June 17th, 1946. <laughs> so what do you think of that, darling? We've got the Hornet. Just in time. 6882. Found twice. It's all about... <clears throat> What do you think it's all about? It's talking about the altar to the Lord, Jesus, Joshua, Jesus, 24, 24. Right. Great pyramid. Hmm. Well, it's what he's talking about. No, well, it's hidden. It's hidden all for you, for you to find. That's what it's all about. Oh, yeah. You've got the whole world going up. See, this is what... This is what the Jews in Israel are firmly believing, that you have given them the land. So they are taking, because it's their divine right, you, God has chosen them to treat the Palestinians this way because you gave them the land. And that's why they're expanding. And they want the Palestinians out of there because you have given it to them. They forget about the rebellion all down through the years. But that's a genetic inheritance and as they're 95 percent or more Khazaria mm. they are Mongol mm. and are not Jews and I told them that when they tried to kill me That's with Sinai. Right. I said you're not Jews and you're not going to rule the world. Mm. I said the Scottish and the Irish and the English 
But this is the dogma. The yeah, that, uh, this is the dogma that they are hell bent on, and this is why they've become the rabid dogs. They believe all of this. They're God given right, and you've got the West supporting them because of all of those words that you just read. Well, they've been bullshitted by Satan. Mm, they have. They're going to burn you. They want Armageddon. Mm. They want to set up a nuclear stockpile mm. and kill everybody on Earth. It's a satanic evil that drives these Jews to do what they're doing. They're not Jews. Mm. If anything, they're Judas. They should carry it out for them. Mm. They had the secret of how to get in, they forbid everybody else going in. That's right. They're evil bastards. So, what do you do with the cancer? You rip it out. You cast it into the bottomless pit. Mm. That ruthless, just do it. Once you have a new paradigm of thought, you're into the new paradigm of consciousness. You've, you've stepped over a new threshold of understanding. You're saying, oh, for fuck's sake, of course it did. That's it. Enlightenment. It hurts, but it's wonderful. So the idea is to just show that every prophecy on earth can be fulfilled by the Creator. Sure. Just out there, depends how you look at it. <laughs> but the ultimate is the Ashra. That is why the Cook Expedition used cannons to obliterate the beautiful Ashra beside the Lord Jesus Christ. Is it a resurrection of death? It's all in the numbers. Goodness me. It's, if you take the, the seven, seven, seven one 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 number, multiply it by 0.618, the half bit of the Fibonacci, it gives you your height. <laughs> in feet. Yes. <laughs> Perfect nothing. <laughs> But it in in uh, you can then divide it by real cubits mm. or the, the female equivalent, mm. which is the length of your arm, mm. not the length of anyone's arm except yours. That's a measuring of the angel. So we have to measure what yours is. Mine is a is a, uh, a cubit, mm. mother measurement. Yours is less than that. Yes. So whatever that is, well, that's, uh... measure it. That's got a number on it. <laughs> I'm unforgettable. <laughs> put my jacket on. Those squares. What squares? I bought a couple of wooden squares. I think they're not in the garden. Ash knows it now. Then she just puts her arm on the on the the uh, marble and then measures it. So when when she feels it there and then that right point there. Yeah. That's what the the female equivalent of the cubit is. So it, I think it will be the Fibonacci number.
So from January 25th, 1944 to that's Tuesday, to Wednesday the 14th of November 2012 is 25131 days, which is in years 688680. And it is a word horn. And that then leads you directly to Jesus Joshua 2424. It has to be the most important verse in the entire Bible. What is the pieces of what you are talking about? Mm, not that So, we would select that. Save her plane. Eight, nine, seven. Eight nine seven. Yeah. Now that's pasting it straight out of the uh, Bible as is in the Strong's, and it's got J O S, but the U R is missing. Right. So you go add in a U R, make a Joshua. Right. Let's see it. Is it yeah, you, Babylon. Huh? Babylon. Food, spoil. I got nine one nine. Oh. Son of Joshua. Mm -hmm. Twins. Right. Now, what's the date today? 19th. 19th, but it's the 18th of October, the birth of the twins. That's right. In 33 AD. Mm. 1979 years ago. Which is? Company, going, walk, caravan, procession or march, walking by implication, that's Hebrew. Food, victuals, a provisioning, a provisioning, food, victuals, which we've just <laughs> completed. All right, so 
What, what did now, you... you can put your arm on the marble behind you. All oh, right, and mark it. And then put the, those two sticks there, you can put the stick at, uh, at your fingertips. So you put, put one stick up against the back of your arm on the on the uh, vertical. Take that stick and make the vertical. Right. All right, now put there. that no, 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 no. Put that down against more down. Down. Oh, oh, oh. Like that. Mm. Right. Now there's your square. You put your elbow in there. When you touch the wood, then your fingertips Your fingertip then. Oh yeah, yeah, I feel it. Yeah. Put your hand flat on the on the deck. A bit more, I think. Yeah. Gotta go that way. This one? Yeah, it, it sticks an up upright. That's it, that's upright there. Now is that comfortable against the back of the arm? You just get comfortable. Yeah. Okay, then where your fingertip is, that's how long your cube it is. Okay, alright. So put the inches Seventeen, almost point six. Yeah, seventeen point six. Is that seventeen zero six? No, seventeen point six, point six of a six tenths of an inch. Seventeen inches and six tenths, so it's seventeen point six inches. Right. What is it in centimeters? Okay. Four or five five. Right. Oh. No, it's exactly forty five. Forty five. Four five zero. No, 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 not this one. Can't see a thing. Can you put the lights on? Yeah, I've got to go to it. Right, Jimmy. Right, four five zero, hey Brett. Knowing. God is knowing. That's from uh, 410, which is L and 3045. You Ascertained by seeing to know. No what? Not familiar with it. Pin cloak. Procrastinator. Skillful. Respect. Till. And talking, of course, about 410. The Almighty, especially Almighty, Almighty Power, Deity, God, L. From three five two. From one nine three, strength, anything strong, specifically a chief politically. Also a ram from his or her strength. A pilaster has a strong support, an oak or other strong tree. Mighty man, lintel oak, post, ram, tree. The tree of life. This is the Asherah. What was your one seven and six? Otherwise, 
constructed from Proverbs 31 4. Then you've got to go to Proverbs 31 4, but you get the number 314 coming up. That's a very, very beautiful course. Um, this is all what you get from this. So I get like I get nine one nine because I put the Josh and the U are twenty four twenty four. So that's Jesus. Jesus. That's what my mother called me. Jesus. 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 We have worked. <clears throat> Two white vehicles come roaring out of the national park where it's closed at night. And they're both the number plates had a 919 on them. Two white, uh, maybe oh, something like a small four wheel drive. So what is it? It's about Jesus. Son of Jesus. Right, love. She just went to the toilet. What did we get to? 919. Uh, now, what does that bring to mind? Let me give you a hint. Joshua. Huh? Son of Joshua. Yeah, the, the, something something we've seen. Yes. The two uh, license plates yeah. at the Michael point. Right. 919 within a space of Second. seconds. It's almost like it was the same vehicle come back the mm. second time. Mm. Overtook her Sunday. Yeah. Right. Speeding past. One after the other. So the most important verse then is Joshua 2424. And the people said unto Joshua. Now I just added the U A to the Josh. Right? I should have added a H. Right? So now we've got 919. So if we go back to this thing over here. This is the process. I've got to put an H in there. A nine twenty seven. <laughs> That's not happy either. It's like a crucifixion. Highly valuable, very precious in Greek. Haste, 
trouble to terrify Hasten. Right, so that's what they're trying to do at the moment. And uh, I'm saying, don't worry about it. Mm. Don't worry. They're all expecting the Armageddon scenario. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it, I'll fix it. That's what I'm here for. And of course, that's what I want. Mm. So I'm being your oh, hand. I'm not happy about it. Someone's got to do it. So you always crucify the messenger. Mm -hmm. yeah, willingly, I get crucified. I've got some nails left over, but I can show you where to put them. Mm -hmm. So, as we speak, the Jews are terrorizing little children to death and driving a nail through the temple. To get the blood to be absolutely terrified, mm. which they drink. They get an adrenaline rush from the fear and yes. terror of the child they've sacrificed. Tom. Mm. <clears throat> it's an interesting thing about the Tom you can see the evil being made up as it goes along. Mm. But on the other hand, uh, it does show the depth of evil that a man will degenerate to mm. in a insane, uh, cancerous way mm. that must be dealt with. Hitler didn't do the job. Yeah. He was too compassionate. You're so serious, you're prepared to execute members of his staff that were leaning in the other direction. Mm. They knew where we had to go. Extermination mm. of the Jews. They were holding him back. Mm. He's going to kill them. Well, he, he did. He got rid of 84 right from the beginning. That's right. So, so focused was he on what he had to do. Mm. He did that. Mm. The greater good. Mm. <clears throat> it's interesting. See, he could not have done what I couldn't do. That's what makes him a sin. So to have him alleged to have taken these men out and killed them, this is a complete fabrication. But he wouldn't do that. You can't go and read the first few lines of mine, can't. And no, this is not God speaking through a lot of It's like he spoke for a moment. Put the two together, you get the perfect religion. Which is what Muhammad instructed the Muslims to do in the first place. Hmm. <clears throat> so if if you give these Jews the option of that destruction or Repentance. Not a hard question. Every knee shall bend. Mm. So we make the prophecy come true physically by putting the idea out there that this is what I'm waiting for in a physical sense while I'm stopping earthquakes where uh, I get requests all the time from Texas. And just kind of put me some rain. Yeah, no, I understand. Mm. That rains. What the Opie prophecy of them? So we get the Opies in the room. The man, it's got them. I don't know what's going on. Google Khan, got that covered. Listen to
Mm. Yeah, 12 female, is it? 12 mom. Ella? In flesh? <laughs> yeah, well, God. <laughs> in flesh. Oh, um, well, the great Marty. I'm confused about the great Marty and Jesus Christ. Are they one and the same? That's right. No. I just wake up to mm. on it. Sorry about that. Mm. Well, they've been informed now, haven't they? Mm. They didn't already know. Well, that's right. Well, do, do, is, can we recover that and read it again? Would you say that this is also uh, sent to all the bishops and popes and cardinals and every every religion on earth? They get sent a copy of it. Every national bound. Mm. What the fucking Mormons were doing? And the Seventh Day Adventist. They both had me. Mm. They both rejected me. So one story night, <laughs> I placed these uh, booklets in the final night of the Seventh Day Adventist downing of the Catholic Church. <clears throat> and I stuck them in, in the rain. All the cars that were in the car park, I stuck all these things in, in cellophane paper. So they all got a copy of my book, same as it was. Mm. They only got one response, and that mm. was Wendy. Hello. Wendy, same spirit? Mm. Wendy. <laughs> that she's been suckered into by Peter finally doing his fucking lolly and telling who we are. Not believe the fuck we. Yeah, she's not at the club anymore. As I said to you today, I'm still waiting for the fucking photo. Or Peter has convinced her. Now, <coughs> we can say yes, he has. Because it's something he could not keep, remain quiet about. And that's why we didn't have our phone with us, the camera today, seeing a miracle that was going on here. So I get a pair of shoes for him. Oh, now he said, help me, I sent a guy walk up and grab those shoes and walk off down to pay for them. When I got there, the shoes were back there in the shop. And he was in the distance walking away with the same pair of shoes. Never. <coughs> 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 well, right before your eyes. What's the name of the shoes? Rivers. Rivers. Rivers of Babylon. <laughs> what size were they? What size? Mm. Uh, well, they fit my foot perfectly, so they must be 11 triple E. Mm. Whatever that is. Eleven five five five. <laughs> yeah. Well that's right. Same my hand with that one four two. Okay, so did you work out the height according to the mother cubit? Oh yeah, it's all sorts of wonderful stuff. Mm. Um Let's see how we do it. The numbers were eleven five. What was the first one? Uh, seventeen six. Seventeen point six, yeah. Seventeen six. Uh, Unblamable. That cannot be. Condemned from one, which is God, and two six oh seven. So two 
matrix. Uh, hmm. Find fault with, blame, condemn, to moat against. Mm, so it, it's it's the opposite of that because of the yes, one. That's right. Mm. This is one makes it from God. Mm. Right. Now the, the same number. Uh, one seven six. Constructive or uh, genitival form of as of one eight five desire and so probably from Proverbs thirty one four. Hence, by way of alternatives, also if also and either if at the least, nor or otherwise, then whether. Okay, Proverbs thirty one is about the. The woman. <clears throat> what are we looking for? Proverbs 31. 31. Now, 450 in Greek, which is the <clears throat> arise, lift up, rise, raise up again, rise again, stand up, right. That's in Greek. To stand up, which is. <clears throat> okay. God is knowing. Yeah, but. Now, if you take the statue on uh, Easter Island, yes, the one that's obviously got this big chin, like how dumb is that? They should have got rid of the chin at least. First thing to go, but they didn't can it, right? There must be cannibals then. They'd lose some, some. Anyhow. Um, if you take the 7111, or as inches, let's do that as inches, uh, 863. Now remember the sun is 864. So there's one more would make it 864, so it would be from the sun. All right? So we've got a monumental thing coming out of a, as a statue. And if, if you now multiply that by point Fibonacci, 618, it'll give you your height. That will be the length of the statue. Five twenty-seven thirty-three. Okay, what's that? That's in inches. Five twenty-seven thirty-three. Which is forty-three point nine four feet. Um, <coughs> was it five two seven? Five seven three. three. Point three. Sweet pleasantness. Delightful. Right. Goes off to another number. Fifty two seventy six. Right. This has never been done before, you see. Pleasant delight. Right. One, two, three. Hypocrite. Stage player. Actor. Dissembler. From 5271. The assumed character of a stage player. Shakespeare, right? That's what I said, what a hypocrite is. Mm, an actor. Oh, that's what I said, Michelle is an actress. Mm. She's on stage. I said, you're a hypocrite. That's, the that's what it means. Mm. So, do I punish her? Little dear, insane sister. How many feet is it? 45. 43.94. Consecration. Prophecy. Oh. Prophet. Prophecy. 4396. Prophet. 
a foreteller. So you are a prophet. So identifying you by your length of your arm, you are a prophet. Now. Another way of doing it is like that. For hmm. a different measurement. 4394 in Hebrew is fulfilling prophecy. or consecration, concretely a dedicatory sacrifice, consecration, consecration, right. fulfilling, right. fulfilling the office of the prophet. Right. So what you have before you is every eye on earth will be watching you now. So you got a message to the I thought. Mm. I had told you so. <laughs> Message to the Ayatollah. How it's going to be. Yeah. How Iran will be. Yes. Liberate the women. Yes. Um, the women of Iran. The children of Iran are all grown up. You have fulfilled the office of the father that they have needed to get them to this point now. And they will be liberated from some parts of the law that are quite frankly stupid. They have the nature to naturally, it's part of their nature to obey God. And one thing that God is, is freedom, is love, is freedom. The women of Iran can choose whether to wear their hair covered when they're outside. They can choose what clothing it is that they can wear For the pure woman. outside. Because the pure, the true woman chooses herself to dress modestly. She can be trusted to make the right choices. They don't need to be dictated to, it comes from within them. As for the actions of the man, the real man contains himself and honours the woman above himself, cherishes her, places her first and foremost in his life and the true woman understands that, respects him and gives him her love with every fibre of her being. She is safe within his household, she is safe within his arms, she feels safe and loved, trusted, she trusts him to treat her as the treasure that she is, God's gift to the man. So, it's all really quite simple. There's no need for rules and precepts and laws upon laws. God is here, he's on the earth now. The kingdom of heaven is built upon the earth. There are no Bibles, there are no Qurans, there is the law of love. And God is the Father. He takes the place of all of the clerics, all of the pastors, ministers, teachers on the planet. He is the Father who knows what is best for his children. He looks after their interests while understanding that they need to be free to express who it is he has created them to be. So everybody's happy. Children who are given that freedom to express who they are don't disappoint their parents. And their parents are rewarded with happy, joyful, mature, responsible children who bring them beautiful babies, God in the flesh, onto the earth through their wombs. So, all one big happy family, isn't it, babe? Yeah. Hmm. All good. So, girls of Iran, you 
you are trusted. That's what it boils down to. The Western influence, it's not good. It has been destroyed. By Judaism. By, yes, Judaism. A deliberate plan to destroy the morals and values of the Western societies. They've succeeded. They are the sons of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm. Sodom and Gomorrah is the world of the West today. They're the sons of Sodom and Gomorrah, sons and daughters of Sodom and Gomorrah, the weak men and the harlot women. But Iran are the real men and the true women, sons and daughters of God. Looking forward to your ice cream <laughs> and your beautiful palaces, your buildings unfettered with grotesque images and statues of decadent evils. Now we're looking forward to the palaces of stone, tiled, glass, Adam's dream, emerald and amber. Mm -hmm. And the voices, the voices of children praising God. You're going to have to learn some of Elvis's, <laughs> Elvis's songs. Do you remember in Fiji, the natives there? Oh man, they were in heaven. Swinging along to Elvis in the van there, they were set free. <laughs> yeah, so. It's all good. Father is on the earth to look after his children, those who are made in his image, the sons and daughters of God. So it can all work out really, really, really well. All the clerics still remain in their positions. They just go to the Father when they need direction. And uh, still the guiding hands for everybody. He's the counsellor. Comforter, yeah, the comforter and the counsellor, so that uh, paradise is built according to what's in the heart and minds of the children, well, where all are safe, all are safe. This is the Garden of Eden story, isn't it? It is, why. and there is nothing that offends in paradise, nothing, nothing that offends the Father, and if it doesn't offend the Father, then it won't offend Children, certainly, because his heart and mind are for the children. Right? Right. Okay. <laughs> well, I think that is a checkmate, my dear. Mm. So they murdered Christians, eh?